Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Built Not Bought. It's the greatest YouTube channel on earth. A bit much, you reckon? We've got the GU Patrol from Explore 4x4 now. If you haven't seen, this car rolled off the side of a cliff. We were filming out there. Handbrake was on, but let go. And age old rule, you should always put your four drive in gear when you're on a hill. So it went down, we recovered it, and this is the end result. Now, me being the bloke I am, I'm a nice guy. I said to Matt, look, I'm gonna repair this for you so you guys get a bit of content. I can do a bit of repairs because it's not only what's physical in front of here. If you come to the back here, what we're gonna do is replace the bonnet and this door because they're, they're pretty much hammered. But this back quarter here, obviously you can't replace that on a car. So it's been roughly machined out, panel beaded out but I thought I'd do a bit of an episode on spray painting as well. So in this episode, you're gonna get the rebuild of the front, but also some DIY paint repairs as well. So that's what we're gonna get into. We'll get onto that a little bit later. First things first, I'm gonna rip this door off, this bonnet off, try and get this bull bar off. It looks pretty jammed on there and we'll see what we're dealing with. Alrighty, that's right. So we're gonna start at the front end here now. Interestingly enough, I did a bit of an assessment when it did go off the edge of the cliff and everything seems to be working fine. It's got brakes, it's got clutch, the engine doesn't overheat, none of that. So there's no major mechanical problems. It's all kind of cosmetics, which is a good sign. So the thing was trailered back to, um, back to Queens or back to Brizzy. Um, where Matt is and he's got it up here for me. So I think there may be a little bit of damage behind here on the um, radiator support. So oh, fingers crossed there's not too much, but I can see a little bit of a, a push on the front headlight here and the guards come in and the grill. So we really don't know what we're dealing with till it's apart. So I'm gonna get this bull bar off and this bonnet off as quickly as I can. I don't even know if it opens. Actually, let me try this. We could be off to a bad start if we can't even open the bonnet. Oh! Like you bought one. <laughs> Not bad. Gas shuts work and everything. All right. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. All right, let's get into it. Oh yeah. The problem with all of this when you have an accident, everything's under tension, like the bolts aren't sliding out, so you gotta hammer them out. But it looks like I've got some movement on it now, just this side, which is a bit of a different story. Oh, 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 I forgot to undo the indicators. Ah! It's a shame I'm here on my own, no one can do it for me. It's just, you know, me and the cameraman. <laughs> the camera just floats around this workshop on its own, it's amazing. All right, that came off not too bad. If anyone wants to buy a bull bar, it's for sale. 20 bucks. <laughs> all right, so looking at this front end here, doesn't look too bad at all. It's like it just puked its guts or nuts everywhere. <laughs> anyway, so this side, this light looks fine to me. That little dent here, I'm pretty sure it's just because of this, which doesn't do anything. So that's fixed. Just a little there. Oh, that's good. But yeah, right at the bottom here of this, this light, there's a bit of, there we go, a bit of pressure. But other than that, the headlight's fine. So I think that's just almost popped back to where it should be. All right, I'm gonna rip this back door off, get that out of here. Where's the door? Oh, bonnet's outside. I think the door's out there too. Oh, door's over there. But it doesn't have any of the inside, the interior, or the door handle, because this one's got chrome handles. So once I pull that door off, I'll get all the lock and stuff out, put it in that one, new flare, Put that back door in and hope that the colors match up. I mean, it's a white patrol, but sometimes there's real differences, especially depending on like where the car's been. If it's gone around Australia a few times, it's gonna be a different shade of yellow because it's covered in dust, let's be honest. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> no! Alright, we'll get the new door now and see what's missing out of that. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I think it's still in there. But I'll whack this handle in, no new door skin on, and then that's ready to go back on later. Oh, 
All right, she's on. Let's see if it shuts, um, if the windows work, all that good stuff. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to attach the cable inside, the little rod. Which means I have to pull it all apart. Oh my God. That's the bit. <laughs> Tiny little piece to make the door work. Do that tomorrow, I think. All right guys, so now we're gonna start looking at repairing the paint here. So on this back quarter, there was a massive dent. So Matt actually got um, a panel beater to get the big dents out of there and get it pretty close to where it's ready for paint. So they've gone and done a rough job here with the bog and primer. So what I think the next step will need to be is to just clean this up with some 800 grit wet and dry. So I'm gonna go through and do that. Scuff this whole panel up. I think what I'm gonna do is paint right up into this line here because we've got that new door there anyway and then blend it on this back quarter here um, and pretty much leave that as the only blend section and just respray all the rest of this stuff here. So we'll get the, uh, get the sanding done and out the way and see how the thing comes up. It may need a small pinch of bog. There's a few pinholes in that to be cleaned up. Uh, but once we do that, a quick scuff and then it's just getting a coat of paint on, coat of clear, buff it and she'll be good as new. All right, and now that we've got the primer on there, I just did another little quick sand of 800 wet and dry and also cleaned it up with this wax remover ready for the first coat of color. Now, you can actually go down to any super cheap auto store and get the color to match your car. Just from the plate on the VIN number, it'll have like a trim slash color code and then they can actually match it for you to suit your car. So we've got that, pretty much put it in the gun, same sort of thing, you want to mix the ratio with um, the thinners as well, about 50-50, get it in the gun, lay on probably two or three coats of color to make sure it covers well, and then we get onto the clear coat. All right, so the final step, now that we've painted it and let it dry, we want to buff it, sand it, and get it looking shiny again. Now, like, unlike a two-pack, an acrylic clear is gonna sort of dry a bit more dull. So what you need to do is sand it back with a fine sandpaper. I've got some 2000 grit here. You can probably get away with like a 1500 as well, just a little bit more cutting to do. But sand it all back and get that orange peel out, and you're pretty much taking one of those clear coat layers off. Um, and then you come through with some cut and polish and a buff and that'll bring it up like new and that'll fix that blend. So how we kind of sanded before a bit further to where the paint was going, that's where we can recover that um, with the buff and actually make that blend happen. So that's what we're gonna do now. It's a final step, buff it up and she'll be sweet. All right, now that to me is pretty well repaired. It's a much better improvement to where we started. Obviously a few simple tools, a bit of patience and you can repair most things yourself. Matt's coming around apparently tomorrow, so when he comes, we're going to put the rest of the stuff on, get that bonnet on, bull bar on, um, sort a couple of these seals out and these guards, and it's pretty much ready for him to take home. So, he bloody owes me a six pack, I tell you that much. Of ciders, not beers, of course. All right, welcome back. It's a couple of days later. Now we've got all that paint sorted on there. Today, Matt is coming around. He's going to give us a hand to put this bar on. So the last thing to do is put the bull bar on and the bonnet there's a seal for the back door and just a couple little bits and pieces he can choose which grill he wants which least grill there is because they're both kind of broken these are the mounts cradle all that good stuff for the bull bar i'll just get that all laid out get the bull bar unpacked ready to put on and then probably by the time that's done he'll be here <laughs> oh any lights What a shot. This is pretty much all the brackets and stuff that we need. And, oh, speaking of the devil. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> all right, we've got Matt dropped in now. So it's pretty rare for me to have a bit of a hand here, which is awesome. So two hands, and go twice as fast. Four hands. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so today we've got bull bag going on, bonnet, yep. sort of the paint out. So once that bar's on and that bonnet's on, the car's pretty much back together. Like you guys see the before and after of how this thing was smashed up. We're it's pretty, pretty pretty lucky. The front end's nowhere near as bad as what we sort of were thinking. Yeah. I thought a little bit more might have been bent, but um that bar was looking bad and it was all pushed in. Like I said, that whole radar support we're pretty lucky to get away with no damage there. So yep. yeah, stoked the result. No, right. We've done well. Put this thing together and get it on. Happy days.
off. I reckon do a clear bonnet, show off the big bad ZD30. Wouldn't that be cool? I've always wanted to do that, just have like this hole where the supercharger is. Maybe on, maybe on your car. You can see on, your intercooler. Not on this <laughs> bucket. I do have a flash bit of piping going on there, mate. Right, 12 mil. We've got the bull bar on. We did a little bit of a check of the alignment, but we can tweak that once everything else is together. I'm just gonna grab a 12 mil. Is it? Where's my 12? Chuck the bonnet on and see how it fits up. This is why we needed two people. I got the flash turbo diesel sticker on this oh, one too, that? mate. How's the upgrade? Yeah. The last one didn't have that. No. Nah. You know what we should have done? Put a fucking rag down so we don't scratch the paint, but no. Not here, build not bought. Solly, come down and see what it's, and then it won't be a line and you'll have to take that off. Oh, oh, hello. Why so squeaky? Those struts have been open too long. So pick a grill, they're both smashed. Let's go with the least smashed grill. So that was your one and that's my one. Let's go with this one. <laughs> Thanks. <On this> one. <laughs> I might just get a white texture and write Toyota. Do it. <laughs> BNB. Oh yeah. This is where you find out the whole car's bent. No. Because the grill doesn't go on. So I'm actually thinking about selling this one, if anyone's interested. <laughs> Comes buffed. Comes pre-buffed, pre-loved. Never been off the side of a mountain. Never. Never, never been off road, never been in the shops. Yeah. Shut. Alrighty, there we go. We've got the Bonner Island bull bar on. Matt's just doing up the last spotty there. Pretty much done. We've revived this car. From that first moment when you saw the thing off the cliff, he's like, oh no, it's a write-off, but no. It's just a few battle wounds and she's back, ready to go. Looks so. like nothing happened, mate. Yeah. I just get flash stickers on the bonnet. That's the only difference. Stickers. You're going to get a new roof rack going. You need a new number plate. That one's pretty smashed up. We can probably straighten that out, actually, ah, to be honest. That'll be right. Should be right. <laughs> that'll go on with a the mallet. There you go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace. <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to Built Not Bought HQ. Make sure to click on the far left to subscribe to the channel. Click down below to see the latest episode if you missed it. And don't forget our merchandise on our website. See you in the next episode.